Peace and greetings, everyone. Here with another 433 megahertz jammer video. And with this one, I wanted to kind of elaborate on um, just this design. <clears throat> I'm going to show you uh, the custom PCB I've made for this, um, the design for it. And um, I'm gonna show you just the process on how I uh, put the PCB together. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I don't have a wired uh, version. Um, kind of gave a few of them away. Uh, but if you don't know what this is, <clears throat> basically this is a CC1101 uh, module, and it's a sub gigahertz module. So basically anywhere from 300 to 900 megahertz <clears throat> this can uh, scan, replay, read, raw, um, and also jam those uh, frequencies. Um, but it's also used in a lot of ways to just um, communicate. You can have one of these on, um, you know, various microcontrollers and communicate messages and all that type of stuff. Um, but for our use cases and with this um, GitHub project, I'll put the link down below. Um, <clears throat> this is mainly used as kind of like an analog uh, software-defined radio. So it has a pretty simple setup. Uh, you can use multiple different microcontrollers, um, but with this, we're going to use the um, D1 Mini, the Wemos D1 Mini. And you could find these um, <clears throat> pretty much anywhere, pretty cheap. You can get them in packs of five, 10, 20. Um, and then we have the uh, CC1101 module, and it just comes with this uh, antenna you just screw on. And then uh, for the prototype PCB, if you want to use that to test things out, um, these are the type that you're going to want to get. Once again, uh, pretty cheap. And there's um, various sizes for this. Um, the main prototype I made this with was uh, four by six centimeters, but today I'm just going to be demonstrating the basic layout on the five by seven <clears throat> centimeter if you want it, because you can get them uh, in specific sizes, uh, but this one is just a uh, pack with a variety of them. So uh, when I was making this, I wanted to kind of make it as uh, small as possible. <clears throat> um, this PCB board is a little bit bigger than the original one I started off with. Um, and it's a pretty simple design. Um, you can really just place these anywhere. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, that's pretty much it, more or less. Um, the only extra thing I did as well was that I added... Um, uh, so the extra thing I added was um, one of these 90 degree angle header pins. And uh, that way, <clears throat> um, for the PCB, I have the connections um, going to a few of these different pins. Um, and I'll show you on the um, PCB design, um, but I have this going to uh, power, ground, and then um, TX, RX. So uh, essentially you could put this onto a flipper zero and um, have the UART connection, the RX, TX of the D1 Mini um, go to your... Um, Flipper Zero for, you know, whatever other applications you may have. Um, so it's a pretty simple uh, setup. So um, you'll want to uh, now uh, wire <clears throat> these connections according to um, this pretty simply. 
So you're gonna wanna make sure you, um, you know, get your wires and all that going. All right, so uh, here is a exclusive sneak peek of the PCB design. And it's pretty simple, uh, but you'll be able to uh, download these from the GitHub and uh, purchase them through PCBWay uh, if you wanna get those or you can get them pre-made for me elsewhere. Uh, so we have the uh, D1 Mini uh, right here. And then we have the uh, CC110 antenna um, up to the left. And then here I have uh, 10 uh, pins in the center. And these will be for that um, these will be for that 90 degree angle pins. <clears throat> so this will go into the uh, flipper zero. Um, so as you can see, uh, I have uh, the um, ground and power, and then also the uh, RX and TX um, going into here. And um, that'll allow just easy connections and if you just want to put it into something uh just allow it to hold everything together uh, nice and easily um but yeah make sure to um, definitely check out the github soon for these files <clears throat> um we have the pcbs coming on the way right now All right. so let's say you have one of my pcb designs or any project really, you're gonna to wanna to go to pcbway.com. And this is a really amazing site because they really cover just about anything you can possibly desire as far as your project goes. Um, they even have competitions uh, for design projects. Um, as you can see right now, they're having a $6,000 project. But if you want to um, get designing, they have uh, various different things. <clears throat> whether it's CNC machining, uh, 3D printing, which I'm going to be using quite a lot um, for a lot of my uh, devices that I'm making, heat metal fabrication, injection molding. Um, so if you don't have like a workshop or a local um, center where you can use a lot of these tools, and um, <clears throat> especially if you're trying to make yeah, a lot of products, um, like let's say I need 10 to 300 to 1,000 um, 3D cases uh, for one of my devices. <clears throat> There's no way I can do that with my personal 3D printer. Um, they also have a PCB assembly, which is um, having the PCB board, PCB board uh, printed, uh, but also getting the surface parts or really whatever parts you needed uh, soldered. Even if you only needed like half the project um, assembled, uh, it's a great way to save a lot of time. And right now <clears throat> you can get one to 20 pieces uh, for $30 and uh, 10 pieces for $5. So let's say you want to um, just make a quick uh, prototype and get a quote um, here. You'll just insert in um, just some dimensions of your PCB design. And you now go to the main area where you can choose all the different specifications. You can choose advanced PCB, flexible PCB, assembly, um, but you want to just do standard PCB uh, for more, most cases. <clears throat> so you're going to select um, your quantity and you can select um, even different designs as well if you want to have um, you know a few different um, options for the same pcb board and we have the uh, materials the fr4 is the uh, default and also if you hover over the question marks <clears throat> they have really nice uh, detailed um, descriptions of every single option. So even if you're a complete beginner, um, you can get a really good idea of what each of these options are, because they want to make sure you um, get exactly what you want. And uh, here you can choose uh, the colors of the solder mask. Like as you see with uh, this board, um, I chose purple. 
Um, but some colors are a little bit more than others. Uh, green is default. And then the silk screen is the letters and the um, lines on the board. So you're just going to want to go through and select all the um, other options um, down to the copper weight. And then here um, is uh, interesting because you can have special requests. Like let's say your PCB design is missing a few things or you wanted some extra labels um, or you wanted to put um, just any extra um, requests. You can put it down here and then they'll send you um, a picture of the PCB design so you can confirm and make sure that's exactly what you want. <laughs> And then here we have a SMD stencil and assembly service um, once again, and they have a few different options. Um, PCB can supply the parts. Um, you can supply the, uh, the parts. So um, if I ship them to them or do a little bit, little, little bit of both, um, because in some cases, um, some parts are really hard to source. So you might find <clears throat> somewhere to source them and uh, go that route. So once you've uh, gotten everything, you'll click calculate. So let me put in the size. So you'll click calculate and you'll get a uh, price and you can uh, get it built in 24 hours or uh, extremely fast, um, probably within a few hours and um, select your shipping. Then you're just gonna go save to cart and this is where you'll then add your Gerber files, or whichever format it's in. And uh, this is your main portal. So <clears throat> you'll see the status on your PCB and they're usually really quick. And if you have any questions, um, you can always ask um, the little chat bot here. And then you can always view the details <clears throat> of your project. Um, just to make sure everything is correct. And um, yeah, so as you can see here um, with some other boards I have going on, um, they're being reviewed. And this is where you also just go to check um, previous projects. And that's pretty much it. You know, it's really easy, um, fun and simple to just really get your projects going and um, really save a lot of money too when it comes to prototyping. Um, so yeah, make sure to check out PCBWay. And uh, once again, this is the GitHub where you could find uh, this tool at. So as you can see, RF-based tool um, on the CC1101 um, allows using uh, CLI with human readable commands. Um, yeah, so it's pretty, pretty cool. And you could see all the um, cool settings you could do. And then here you can see um, you have different types of um, things you can do. You can save and load. And then it gives you um, all the instructions. So as you could see, um, you could use this with various microcontrollers. So you could use the Arduino Pro Micro, the ESP32, the ESP32C3, um, which has some things to pay attention to. Uh, the Wemos D1 Mini, like we used. Um, the Nano Board, but you need to use a uh, logic converter, 5 volt to 3.3 volt. And then um, also you could use the Raspberry Pi Pico or just any RP.